Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the next episode. I have actually gone into my crib and have uh, started adding things to my crib. Um, mostly just changed the sofas around a little bit. And then I noticed that um, there's posters, especially Steve-O posters. So I have Steve-O posters and then a few Chris Berman posters everywhere. Um, so this is my crib. There's a couple of Ottomans just sitting there. This is my uh, Steve-O poster room. Uh, this, I think, is just going to be all Steve-O posters and then maybe a big TV. I'll have to find a nicer TV. And then... Uh, I wonder, I wonder if I can do that. I wonder if I can get crib items. Let me see. We need more, more Stevo. This is going to be the Stevo room right here. Let's just make that the Stevo room right there. Um, there's more Stevo stuff there. We don't really have benches, but there we go. There we go. We, we need a bunch of Stevo stuff. There we go. Now I feel more at home. I wonder how much more I can unlock. I'll have to. I'll have to look into that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We want to save this. Shit. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start every. I want to start every. <laughs> just start every stream in the Stevo room. Just be like, hello. Welcome. <laughs> Stevo's a motherfucking free agent in this game. I unlocked Stevo as a free agent. Probably not in the franchise mode, although that would be fucking great. I could use a quarterback. I could use a new quarterback. Am I am I able to use Stevo? Let me let me see. Someone 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 let me know. Come on. Where where can I Where can, where where can I find Stevo? What would he what would he fall under? <laughs> Damn. Probably because I already started it, he's not in here. Nor would he probably be in the actual um nor would he, nor would he probably be in the actual um uh franchise mode. You never know though. You just see S O, like yep, there's Stevo. Oh God, I don't know who the guy that it's supposed to be Aaron Moorhead, but not him. But he looks freaky. T J Hushmanzada, not signed to anybody. That feels weird. I feel like he should have a spot somewhere. I don't think I have any money to bring him in. Otherwise, that'd be kind of cool. I'm sorry. I just felt like looking to see if I could find Stevo. <laughs> All right, let's get started because I only got like what two more two more games left in the season. All right. Well, defense. Oh, we must have lost a couple guys on defense who were necessary for uh, us doing well. Come on. All right, good. I'm never 100% sure how well it's going to work. It's like there could just be a time where it just breaks on me. We choose to receive. Oh, yay. We choose to kick. There we go. And 
and boom. Yeah, there was a couple of cheats on there that I found that I'm sure people would have just been so happy to see. There was like unlimited charge, which would have been phenomenal to watch in a franchise game. I don't know if they would allow that in franchise games. <laughs> and then there was always fumble, where you were fumbling every single tackle. Can you imagine that just showing up in a franchise game? People just show up and it's like, all right, I can't wait for this. This is going to be awesome. And then every tackle's a fumble. Ah! Rhodes almost got it. Almost. Almost, man. There we go. Floyd gonna kill you. Floyd gonna kill you. Ah, oh, damn. People would unfollow so fast. This isn't even close to fun anymore. <laughs> ah, tip pass. Bitch. Let me see here. God damn it. Oh, I'm dumb. This is why I don't, uh, this is why I don't, uh, like to play defense. Because of bullshit like this. Because I'm dumb. This is, this game's gonna go so much differently than the first one we had this season, I'm assuming. Are you ever going to use Teddy once he's healthy? Of course I'm going to use Teddy once he's healthy. Duh. Yeah. I'm <laughs> it's as much as I'm enjoying the fun of having Jeff Locke as my quarterback. I can't wait to have an actual quarterback again, I'll tell you that much. That's, yeah, that's, that's, why would you take out the GOAT? As much fun as I'm having, it'd be nice to have a real quarterback. Oh, suck it! AP! AP! Fucking A. This is going to be a fun game, isn't it? Look at that. He just, like, zipped through, like, three tacklers. Like it was nothing. Like, nope. Fucking hell, that was great. Good job, Locke. <laughs> Good job, Locke. You existed. Gave zero fucks. He gave zero fucks. That was that was a fuck your defense moment if I've ever seen it. We haven't we haven't had a true fuck your defense moment in a while, and I think that that is that was a fuck your defense moment. <laughs> We didn't have the ball long enough for them to introduce my offense. <laughs> That's fucking great. They're like introducing our offense, like my receivers and shit, like on defense. It's like we didn't have the ball long enough to actually showcase it. We really should have had a good... Why haven't I signed a QB? I don't have the cap room anymore. I literally don't have any cap room left. Like, I'd have to probably maybe sign someone at, like, league minimum. I think I could maybe do that. But at this point, Locke is doing good enough that, like, I'm just honestly sitting here thinking, fuck it. Season's almost over. We'll just see what he can do. Like, who the fuck am I going to go sign? 
Yeah, I gotta I gotta say, whoever I sign probably played for the Vikings at some point in the early 2010s. Like when we were desperately searching for a good quarterback because Christian Ponder wasn't like turning out all that well. It was like we had just let's get let's get let's get Matt Castle in there. <laughs> oh look, Matt Castle's doing well for us. Let's let's give Joe Webb a shot. Fuck, I suck. Is that considered a uh, pass interference? That's dumb. That's really dumb. Is Brett Favre still here? I actually hit the R1 button to try to uh, intercept it, and it didn't really work. I'm not really that... Uh, I was probably just being spazzy with the uh, controls, and that's mostly why it happened, I would assume. So I just got to be less spazzy. Fuck! Oh, that was damn near fumbled. Come on. I want to see that. Come on. Oh, it was... Yeah, it was by the time he was down. Damn. <coughs> Half a second earlier and it would have been a fumble. Trey Waynes! Suck a dick. Uh, punt defend. I think that's the one that'll help me get, uh, people. You're so spazzy. Just when I'm driving NASCAR. Fuck you! Fuck your defense! He was ready to just annihilate me, and I'm like, fuck it, let's go for it. And it actually worked pretty well. Well, I should have seen that one coming. I was actually waiting for Johnson, and I was I was just like, "Fuck it, let's throw it to Rudolph, see what happens." All right, this is, this will be this will be better. Rudolph or Diggs, one of them, one of them will be open. Oh, t suck a dick! That was great. There was like nobody on him. Too bad he wasn't faster. Stefan Diggs with all these receptions. Still not one single touchdown yet. <laughs> Poor Stefan Diggs doesn't have one touchdown. And I think Kyle Rudolph has like at least 12. Oh! Oh, damn! He actually kind of got out of that one. That that was that was a very risky. That was very risky, by the way. He actually spun out of two potential tackles. I just couldn't get him pushed the right way. Nice. Diggs is really there for me right now. I like it. All right, 7-7. Seven, seven. Good start. Solid start. God. I just heard the, like, gangsta, most gangsta black voice ever. Like, it sounded like DMX was like, All right, let's do this. I was just I was just waiting for a dog bark to show up. <laughs> Vikes gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you. Vikes gonna give it to you. Oh, oh. Ah, fuck. Don't be injured. I can't afford any more. <laughs> can't afford any more quarterbacks. 
I'm going to get to a point where I will have to try to sign just some league minimum dude. Some rookie who went completely undrafted because he's shit. Well, at least we got something. Perfect. Nice. You're dead when Lock goes down. <laughs> Blair Walsh, let's do it. He'll be the quarterback and the kicker. We'll have to start relying on, like, third-string wide receivers. Like, I think, I think if I can help it, Cordero Patterson will be next. I picked a play. Ha! Ah, fuck off. Blair will always throw a wide left. You son of a bitch. Ah, that's all right. Hmm. And there. Oh, suck a dick, Rogers. That's why I'm picking up Sharif. That's why I'm using Sharif Floyd. I'm like he'll he'll push back he'll push by him if I can help it. Dude, he sent him he sent him airborne basically with that one. He didn't just crumple in a heap. He actually he got some hang time on that. <laughs> now if only we could follow up on that. By not allowing this. Look, Dan, great receiving yards there. That will help your fantasy team. By the way, a strange non usage of Eddie Lacy right now. Just as I say that. Fuck yes! Run, 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 Tubby. Oh, that's alright. We got it. Just as soon as I say something like, yeah, we haven't they haven't really used Eddie Lacy. Boom! Fumble behind the line. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh boy, that wasn't a good idea. Damn it. Like, as I threw it, I'm like, this was a terrible idea. Let's just throw it right at Julius fucking Peppers. Let's, let's not have me be uh, smart about this. That's all right. We're up by we're up by three. I think we can do something about this. They're kind of having to recover from what happened. Fuck! That really shouldn't have happened. That really shouldn't have happened. I don't know why he didn't jump up and go for that. Look, he didn't really jump up and go for the catch. He just. Oh, he did. He just, instead of jumping to swat it, he kind of, like, tucked his arms in. And that's what happened. <clears throat> I think if I had went to try to deflect it, it probably would have been a little bit different. That's all right. Still a simple enough game right now. 14-10. <coughs> I got a minute 55. Um... To try to uh, get it, get something going. 
No, I'm gonna take that. Come on, Codero. Fuck. It's not often I don't actually get back. Alright, Treadwell. I don't really use you. So let's see how let's see how you uh, work with this. God damn it. To be fair, I really blame Locke for that one. Locke is really not a uh, really not the kind of guy who can throw deep passes. And I really need to remember that. Fuck. He's also not the kind of guy who can stay on his feet. Come on, Patterson. God damn it. Yeah, you're gonna punt your own fucking ball after that horse shit that I had to deal with. God damn it. Damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We might still have a chance to get something, but we really need really need to pull our shit together. <laughs> this is what happens on defense. I just sabotage my own teammates. Do you see that poor shit? Here I come. Ready? 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 Bam! <laughs> just sabotage my own teammates out of stupidity. Come on, guys. This is fine. I assume this much would happen in a Packers game. We'll still have the Redskins game. Another fumble, and we just couldn't uh, make it work. I hope it happens again. Fucking crush his ass. Just play D-line the whole time. Oh, shit. Fucking beast at him, man. Fuck yes, 38 seconds. Let's do this. All right. Thank you, Everson Griffin. Diggs! Oh my god, someone got a piece of it. God damn it. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good. We can get something. Oh my god. How the hell did we manage that one? As he's like throwing it away, he's like, fuck it, foam, right in his hands. Look at this. He started coming at me, I'm like, fuck it, foam, right at him. God damn it. This fucking game. God damn it. Every time, every goddamn time. I need a real fucking quarterback, I think. I think I need to just, I think I just need to like suck it up and try to, and try a, a fucking minimum, league minimum quarterback. Because at this point it'd probably be better than someone who isn't a quarterback. <laughs> On the bright side we might actually keep them from getting a lead before halftime. Wow. I really, I really don't appreciate how they didn't go for, like, a jump deflection, uh, like, up. Like, he just sort of let the ball try to come to him. Wow. That was only 37 yards, and he couldn't make it. <laughs> Good job, Crosby. Crosby just pulled a fucking... Wow, that's Mason fucking Crosby, too. Let's not forget that that was Mason Crosby who just did that. Mason Crosby ain't no, like, nobody kicker. <laughs> Come on, 
Just pulled a wall shelf there. God damn it, can I not, like, throw like a fucking dummy? Let's, tr let's try not to do that. Jarius, come on. Oh my, okay, that's total, come on. He fucking brought me down. That is total pass interference. Oh my god. Alright, well, I need to, I need to look into, uh, come on, come on. I need to look into, uh, new ways of doing this. Get out. There you go. Yeah, Mason Crosby has been solid. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Mason Crosby ain't no shit show field, like, he ain't no shit show kicker, man. But then again, neither is Blair Walsh. Alright. I can't wait for a boomer to shit on this game. Alright, game. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN halftime report. I'm Chris Burke. A look at our first half numbers now and the stat that leaps out at you. Third down conversion. We are such garbage today. But somehow they've let their opponent hang. How up. is it this close? They can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Nelson was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 61-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The bite early in the first quarter. Mm. Adrian Peterson got the ball here. And it was a defensive meltdown. He's got lots of space ahead. A 70-yard touchdown for the Vikings. The Packers mid game tied. Oh boy. Ball. Roger connected with his man on this one. The Vikes ended the first quarter. Number 14 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. That's it. Ten crib points. Field. Bam. Vikes out in front. Ten to More seven. More crib points. Number 54 comes up big here as this ball. The fucking middle of the second ball of the 44. Julius Red I bet you think it's, this could still run perfectly fine on 1.4. I should try to upgrade that. The ball midway through the second. Packers trailing by three. Nelson came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one. I feel like my computer just wants to die right now. The Packers on D Oh my god, there's so much shit to go through. Because there was like 18 different fumbles and interceptions. With the big play to kill a drive, because he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. That's right, he's got to go through every single one of them. Bikes are down, but still in it. 14 to 10. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance. Yeah, Jordy Nelson's been doing good. He's played outstanding. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Cool. Express. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound. Design there we go. All right, let's do this. With Dolby, the leader in Oops. Technology. The Vikings oh, shit, I forgot this is the Packers. <laughs> you just, we're, we're going into the second half, and you're just like, oh, yeah, this is the Packers. Yeah, I know. I, I mentioned it's like, oh, this this game not going nearly as well as the first one did. But I mean, we still got a shot. We're only down by four. Yeah, we've had such a garbage second quarter. We'll change. We'll turn that around. Let's get some running plays in. We need some good running plays. <laughs> that works. Ooh, there we go. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a, an outstanding performance for him. Ah, I should have just straightened out, and we could have had first down. Oh well. I don't have a single third down conversion. There we go. Let's get a third down conversion. <laughs> Make third down 
All right, now we're going to we're going to change everything up. We're going to No, Rudolph. Dude, Rudolph still had a chance at that. God damn it. That was that was a touchdown in that was a touchdown waiting to happen. Fucking got blue balled by Rudolph. God damn it. This is what happens when I try to pass. Now I got to now I got to work this again. And now we're a bit too far to actually um, go for a kick. So we need to Great. Now we get to punt again. Mother fuck. Fuck this. Fuck it. We got this. Fuck it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Go. 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 Oh, he can't pass worth a shit. Why can't you why can you kind of pass in a normal circumstance, but when you the fucking punter like all of a sudden your stats get like a minus 50 to everything. God damn it. You had every good shot at doing that and you failed me. Air. That worked that time. Let's go. Can't pass a fuck. We're averaging 2.9 turnovers a game. Jesus Christ. How shit are we? Oh my god. Oh my god. I suck. Great. I'm so getting an actual quarterback. That's that's I that's it. Bar none, that's it. I'm getting an actual fucking quarterback. I don't care if it's some piece of shit drug off the fuck like straight out of the fucking 80s or some shit. I don't know. Does John David Booty still play? Can I can I at least hire him? Can I pick up Seneca Wallace again? Did they get, did the Packers get rid of him? Jeff Watt's been doing he was doing okay, but man has he just been a shit show today. I need I need guys to be doing their fucking job. Oh my god, he cannot Dude, I don't know what to say at this point. He needs he needs to be doing something, man. I really hate that lag that just fucking happened. That irritated the shit out of me right there. There was fucking... There was, there was a bit of lag. I'm not going to make excuses, but fuck, that just annoyed the shit out of me. Get open! God damn it. Fuck. This is what I get for trying risky shit, is I'm gonna lose horribly. This is gonna be a bad game. Holy shit. Come on. Dude, I'm so getting another quarter. I'm getting a quarterback. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck if we pull... Matt Castle out of we can, we'll pull Brett Favre out of retirement. I don't give a fuck. Why didn't he tackle? Yeah, not making excuses. I know I'm not making excuses. I, I, I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but fuck. I'm just I'm so done. I'm the the Jeff Locke experiment is over after this game. I don't care. There better be somebody. I'll trade fucking anybody to make this work. And I swear to God, if Teddy Bridgewater ends up injured next season as well, I'm going to blow a motherfucking gasket. 
All of my fucking quarterbacks done. We need just another one. I don't give a shit who it is. Okay, mm. come on, come on, come on. Who gives a shit? Let's go. Trade for another punter. A punter who knows how to throw. Yeah, at least he can kick that time. We're not even that far behind just yet. It's just been such a... It's been such a... Uh, such a garbage game so far. That's been that's been like every that's been every fucking game I've had so far tonight. Tonight's just been a a night of just me playing like absolute trash. <laughs> this has just not been a fun night for me <laughs> and doing well and stuff. There we go. Okay. Simple simple passes. We'll get moving. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get something going. I feel like we can do this. We can absolutely do this. <laughs> God damn it, can I not? Oh my god. Dual threat quarterback. Dual threat quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Four touchdowns, 17 interceptions. He hasn't even played that many games. He's already got <laughs> Four touchdowns, 17 interceptions. You know? <laughs> When you look at the actual stats, <laughs> holy shit, has he been bad. <laughs> when, when you get to look at the actual statistics, holy fuck, has he been garbage. <laughs> oh, shit. This is just, this is just, this has been a thing. Oh. Rudolph really, I mean, there's the tip of the pass, but I think Rudolph really should have had a, at least a, a piece of that. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. This isn't hard. There you go. Look at that. We're not dead yet. Not dead yet. That's five touchdowns and 17 interceptions. We're turning this bad boy around. <laughs> this is... This is this is some shit, man. We still have a shot. We really do still have a shot. The ref gets the signal, oh, all the way to the back of that end zone. This one deep. Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking tear you down. Come on. Sharif Floyd is going to wreck your shit. Damn it. All right, that's fine. Cool. What whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, flipped right to him. Fuck off. Let's do this. We still have a chance. We still have a chance. Is there another game? Yeah. There's only one more game left in the uh, left in the season, so I'll finish it off after this, and then we'll have a good feel of where we're at going into the uh, postseason. 
fucking Kyle Rudolph, thank God. He hasn't done all that much for me. I think that's actually his first reception. So, oh, that's his second. Okay. All right, Kyle. Ah, oh, God. I'm itchy. Like, my face has this weird itch. Oh, my God. <sighs> Kyle fucking Rudolph. I think if I had realized it half a second sooner, he probably could have ran in for a touchdown with how open he was. Bring it, in, bring it home, AP. There you go. Going into the playoffs somehow. <laughs> I gotta be honest. If this happened in real life, this would probably be the single greatest story to watch unfold. This These last, like, four or five games where Jeff Locke has been the quarterback. <laughs> you know what? At this point, the Jeff Locke, the Jeff Locke experiment may continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna be completely oh my god. Oh my god Oh my god, we're gonna fucking do it. <laughs> we're on our way to fucking doing it. <laughs> oh. oh, this is the greatest. This is the greatest game ever. Nothing is ever gonna top this. I think this may... Like that double overtime... Fuck that double overtime game. This, is, this has probably been the greatest game... So far, this series. Uh, yeah, go back to the 12, bitch. <laughs> Greatest season in Vikings history. <laughs> Randall Cunningham and Randy Moss can suck my dick. The... <laughs> the, the Jeff Locke to Kyle Rudolph connection has been, has been hot fire here. Oh my god. Oh, I'm stupid. This may be the greatest game I've done so far. This is, this is, I, I think the only other one, like, might be that Bears game where we had the same guy with two pick sixes. And that was, like, it. <laughs> But I think this this may beat it out just for sheer force of sh bullshit happening. Like that other one was kind of boring in comparison to this. This is just this is just more insanity. Uh, dude, I'm gonna so run the fuck out of that clock if they don't score. Ah, oh, all right. They live a little longer. The sad part is no one's gonna watch it. People watch this, get at least a hundred views or so. I mean, it's not, it's not a ton of people, but you know, it's all right. <laughs> Twenty-seven and seven. Ah, oh. oh no. Oh, I suck. I did it again. I ran one of the one of the safeties like out of out of the area. What am I doing? Look. Look, there he goes. There goes that potential tackler. It's all right. If this goes to overtime, this will be the greatest game ever. This absolutely would deserve like this deserves a million views. 
Just the utter disgust for my team that I had when I started the second half. And it's turned into this. It's the power of Steve-O. That's what this is. I don't even have Steve-O on the team. But it's the power of having Steve-O in my life. Jeff Locke will find... Dude, Jeff Locke just found a bit of a way. This is ridiculous, man. As soon as I get past the 50... Once I get past the 50, it's, it's pretty much like fair game at that point. Because I just need to get close enough for a field goal. And I think I'm just going to mostly just try now. This this may uh, yeah this may be the Peterson show here. I'm liking this. We're gonna we're gonna run the fuck out of this clock, man. We have uh, we have the opportunity to win on this possession if we can just get probably an extra 15 or so yards. We can we can totally do this. I can feel it. Come on. There we go. Four, three, two, there. Oh my god, there there you go. I think we're in field goal range now. Alright. I'm pretty sure no, we're not gonna pass. Are you fucking crazy? Oh dude, we're totally in field goal range at this point. We just need maybe one or two really good runs to uh, just just a couple short runs and we've got this. Oh my god. We might just do this one run and that'll be it. Well, actually, no. They're going to start burning timeouts, aren't they? That's what's going to end up happening here. Alright. They're not burning any timeouts. Are we really going to do this? I'm going to keep going, man. I'm going to let them make Jeff take the field goal. There we go. Oh, now they're calling time. Now they're shitting their pants. I think it's a little too late now. Oh, God. No, we're not doing it right now. We need to wait. That's got to be the end of the game. Let's just weak toss it. There we go. Right there. Oh, Packers took the timeout. My God, we're actually going to beat them. How did how did we get to this point? How did this happen? Don't. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. That's got to do it. Uh, game! Oh my god. Holy shit. My fucking dick. Holy shit, what a game that was. I want to see the, I want to, I, I think I always hit past this. I got to see the end of this. I got to see the end game. Come on, post game show. Chris Berman is just sitting at the desk baffled. He doesn't even know what to say. He's just like, I don't, I don't fucking get it. I don't know how this happened. One is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post game <laughs> show. I'm Chris Berman. The Vikings stepped it up for sure, putting up some good. He just shrugs and he's just like, I don't know either. I, I I don't even know. Adrian Peterson would get the carry here. Good blocking up front it helped us bring him. The Packers have it after a turnover. I'm gonna get some water while it's doing that. Was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. 
The Vikes, after getting an interception, Vikes losing by four. Matthew is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. They're now up by 11. The Vikes on defense, number 21, was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Vikes losing 21 to 10. After driving 14 yards on five plays, number two would be called upon for the field goal try and he'd come through. The 35 yard field goal, the Packers move ahead by 14. The Vikes answering right back. The Vikings oh, have the ball the at the 32. Adrian Peterson bounces this one to the outside and is gonna get some room to maneuver out there. A 25 yard play that set up a Viking touchdown. Packers ahead by seven. Smith would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Vikes have it off an interception. Adrian Peterson is able to make things pay off on the ground. A seven-yard touchdown for the Vikings. Game time, all right. 24 all. Number 27. We're still only at the point where we got 24 points, Jesus. Nice run. A 29-yard touchdown. So we got the lacy the run. The Packers again tie it up. And we got that. All. Peterson pass. The Vikes answer right back. Number 18 would find his target on this one. That set up a 38-yard field goal. Oh, the field and goal. We'll leave this one. Vikes edge out a win, 34 to 31. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their. Oh, they didn't even. Game. It didn't and even look like they showcased the. the Adrian Peterson what's it is standing by with Susie Calvert. I Susie? knew Peterson was going to get it. Thanks, Chris. You transcended the competition today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Oh, man, you got to give the other team some credit. They really came out and played hard today. They made us really work for this win. Let the chips fall where they may. Luckily, we came out with W. I can't believe we Chris, beat them. Back to you. Thanks for tuning into ESPN. The worldwide we didn't quite beat them as bad as I beat my kid. But, you know, we beat them. We'll so, at least we got ourselves the W. So, I thank God for that. Oop, there we go. Speaking of beaten, does anyone have a switch? I got some asses to spank back in the back in the locker room. How many people have Jeff Locke in fantasy at this point? Probably nobody. I would assume no one in their right mind would have Jeff Locke in fantasy. They would probably have AP. Like, <laughs> like okay. I want to I wanna look at this. Just because you said that. Is there a way that I can look at... Um, I really want to see if there's a way that I can look at uh, the... the uh, first off, let's take a look at the standings. Dude, we got a playoff berth. Oh my god, Jeff Locke has taken us to the playoffs. We are 10-5. and five. All right. Packers already got a, a home field advantage, a first round by a division title. They already won. But not by much. We are right on their ass. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad too, because I think if we, I think the, I don't know if the Saints might have done better than us or the Lions. I don't know. Jeff is greater than Teddy. Hey, Teddy got us to a to a, a playoff as well. It's just we had our kicker. Fuck it, like. Just completely blow the kick. It's all okay. Pittsburgh is... Oh, man. Playoff picture right now has us set at number five. We definitely... We have... No matter what, we made it. No matter what, we have made a playoff berth. Detroit or Carolina or New Orleans. All Carolina has to do is win. And I think that actually pushes them into, like, second, if they really did that. Actually, no. All of us... Look at how many 10 and 5 teams there are. Any one of us can take that number 2 spot. I mean, well, actually... Yeah, any one of us could probably take that number 2 spot, but I'm still going to have to do a wild card game. Um... Okay, where do I look at the where do I look at the stats for that specific game? Is there a way? 
Look at his fucking passer rating. Adrian Peterson can be considered a quarterback? Oh my god. <laughs> Adrian Peterson even being listed here makes me giggle. Because now I want AP for my quarterback. <laughs> I wonder, can I look at the box score for that game? I gotta be able to look at the box score, right? No? That's odd. I feel like I should be able to. Oh well. I guess we'll watch Sports Center and call it good. This is Sports Center. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Broncos win by a comfortable margin. Wow, Broncos is actually did pretty damn well. Matchup, we had the Jaguars win their fifth game of the season. Five to ten. The Dolphins wow. won this contest, but will stay at the third place in the AFC East. The Bears drop yet another game in a <laughs> Two, really five, struggling ten games. on and off the field. How? We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? This guy will be on the move. You see it there. He'll be getting a nice little payday, too. Three years, $2.3 million. This guy is on the move as well as he signs a three-year contract with the mm. Cowboys. Ingram ran to pay dirt three times and helped his Saints beat the Falcons. Eagles, Rams. Have I made any notable Mason trades? Um, I think I traded away, who was it, Phil Lodehold? Loadholt was my highest earning guy, and I wanted to try to free up some cap space, but I guess I still had to pay off part of it, so... So, yeah, I didn't really get any extra cap space, but I will next year. And I got a younger guy than Loadholt was, so doing pretty okay. The Jets defense got to the quarterback four times in their wow, win at Giants Jets Stadium. The Patriots. The Steelers won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Bills. In a long standing NFC rivalry, we have Seahawks the Seahawks the Cardinals. pick wow. up their eighth win of the year. I don't think Seahawks are going to make Redskins, the playoffs in this game. Cowboys. That's that's going to be weird North. to know that the, the Seahawks didn't. The wall is at the 40 yard line. Huh. And the lead man through throws a block, shakes off one tackle. Bounces outside. It's now it's a foot race. The ten, the five. Touchdown. You traded him away. I traded Cowboys him away for someone younger and cheaper that I wouldn't have to pay several million more. Lost this one, yeah, I traded we'll him away. That was like early on. I think that was. I think that's when I started running out of quarterbacks. I'm like, I really need to free up some cap space. McCoy rushed for over 50 yards and helped his Bills beat the 49ers. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey, dude, right, imagine Chris, if. In front of Dude, you, Jeremy, Ma AFC Jeremy and Macklin and twisted Ford. both knees, I and guess. See, they were hard this, week. <laughs> this guy is probably but the imagine if it turns out the way this Madden one went, where it's the Bills and the Vikings board. again He'll in the Super Bowl. The the oh, that'd be There's so chance, great. However, they'll get him back for the playoffs. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And Doug Martin see, is out for the regular season. Mike Evans Martin pulled both of his cap muscles. Dude, so dude, I feel bad for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Look at all of the, look at the laundry list of injuries they've had. For the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the Oh my God, who's that guy who's in Doug Martin's spot? Because he's like, will miss the remainder he's got like those, um, I can't remember what it is, but. He was looking two now different directions. Yeah, we know. This Richie Incognito from the said the wrong while, thing to the wrong guy. Will deal a major blow to this team. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. Is there not and injury in sliders? Game, Probably. The Vikings come away but, I mean, that shit happens. So let's change things up a bit and turn to a guy that's had his eye on the college game. I mean, shit, my fantasy Mel team last Clifford year had uh, he joins us now. Mel. my... You work never My two ends. best uh, wide receivers were else. out for the it's season never too early to start thinking about uh, next after about, right? I think, well, six, seven right. weeks. And I had to completely restructure my fantasy game. team because of it. Open for NFL it was uh, Keenan Allen and whoever the Patriots guy was. 
Yeah, I lost both of them on my fantasy team for the whole season. I was pissed because they were doing so well for me. I was rip rolling my way through the entire season. Like, I'm just kicking people's asses like it was nothing. And then both of them go down, like, in two consecutive weeks. Man, was I mad. I was so, I was just like, fuck. So that'll do it for Every now. team's starting to be injured. Not all of them. Of In fact, most of them not. Now in April. Yes, indeed. Just one week to go, and the playoff picture is well, starting AFC to AFC is already set. That one's set in stone. To be cleared up next Those weekend. are the six teams. We'll start with a look at the AFC playoff picture. Steelers, Chargers, Colts, Patriots, Bills, and Bengals. And now checking things out. And then over Panthers the might still have a chance. Oh, dude. So that's how On the bubbles, the Lions and the Saints. Of intriguing matchups upcoming as we get closer and closer to January. I really and hope it's the it Panthers. Chris, the the Seahawks aren't going to make the playoffs. That's fucking insane. And that'll do it here for Pivotal Week 16. As By the way, good, a, after all of that laundry around, list of injuries that the Buccaneers had, they still, still have a playoff berth. I'm a each little took scared. His team to the next level, and each is going to take home a game ball. Great work, fellas. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studio. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in All sports. All right. Turn that down. I'm pretty sure most of them are still around. Every team's starting QB being injured. I'm pretty sure most of them are still, they're still there. Let's see, my QB... Um, oops. Let's see. Let's go at it like this. Okay. Stafford is injured for eight weeks. Then it's mine, mine, mine. And that's it. <laughs> Every, <laughs> when you say everyone's starting QB, it's... Out of the four quarterbacks, three of them are mine, and the fourth is Matt Stafford. So literally everybody else is perfectly fine in their quarterback situation but me. And then maybe the Lions, if since they're trying to get a playoff berth. <laughs> but I'm sure the Lions have got someone. Just for shits and giggles. I think I'm going to go another week here with uh, the, the Jeff Locke project. Project. Because why not? Who could I possibly get? Possibly get David Fails, Aaron Murray, Dak Prescott, Logan Thomas. So not exactly cream of the crop. David Fails is an is iffy, maybe. Pass arm strength, accuracy, read, leadership, speed. Look at, he's got a six stamina. Hmm. Who, what are, what are we at with our, uh, what's lock at? What, what's, <laughs> why am I even looking at this? Oh, God damn it. I really should. I really should. All right. Fails, will you will you join us? Holy shit. Can we just do one year? Six million dollars. Oh my god, come on. He wants six point eight three million dollars. No. We don't have any dude, we don't have any fucking room for him. I can't even do that. I can't sign any of these guys. They don't want to be involved. I can maybe get this dude. I'd probably try Dak Prescott. Dude, he still wants 3.91 million. I literally cannot sign these guys. Let me try this. I'll give you a fat bonus. Uh, 
four, three, two, one. There you go. 1.81 million. His interest meter is very high. No bonus. That's it, right there. Will you take it? Cap limit has been reached. What? There's cap room right there. See? I got 16 million. I got 16 million. What are you doing? I got 16 million. Or 16,000 right there. I got cap room right there. There's cap room right there. I see it. I see the cap room. See? 6 six K cap room right there. What the fuck? Now he doesn't want to sell. What the fuck is this game on? Alright. Fuck it. That'll be good. Whatever. So, thank you anybody watching this on YouTube. I got one more game left before I freak myself on out of here. Because, I don't know. I guess I reached my cap limit at some point. I don't get it. It says I have cap room, but whatever. I'm at a big whatever at this point. So, sure. Cap management. See that? I got 1.81 million in cap. But I can't sign anybody for that 1.8, like, oh, million. I don't get it. Whatever. I'm good. I got one more game. Anyone watch this on, watching this on YouTube, thank you. I'll see you next time.